Okay, so again, we're drawing two cards. We'll do this question here. If you do not put the first card back in the deck before you draw the next, what's the probability both cards are diamonds? Okay, so the probability that the first card is a diamond is what? Okay, so we've got a deck. It's been shuffled well. How many cards in the deck? Well, we're going to assume 52. Okay, there are 13 diamonds, so the probability of the first card being a diamond is 13 out of 52. Okay. Now, what's the probability of the next one being a diamond? And we do not put the first card back in the deck. So let's imagine that we pull out a diamond. Okay, we throw it over there. We did not put it back in the deck. Then it's well shuffled, but there's only 50. How many cards in here now? There's only 51 cards in here now. But the problem is we're looking for a diamond. Remember, one di a diamond has already been taken out. How many diamonds are left in these 51 cards? We started with 13, but we pulled one out, remember? And we threw it away. But how many is left in here now? Not 13, 12. See that? And so these two events need to happen one after the other so we can so we multiply them to get the the chances of both occurring 13 into itself goes once 13 into that goes four times you can also cross cancel the 4 with the 12 4 into 4 goes once 4 into 12 goes three times and the answer to this is 3 out of 51 and just for fun as a percentage that is 0 0.0588 Oh, it's about 5.9%, uh, right? Almost 6%. Right? Okay.